Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. My name's Jake. Welcome to my show. Today's Thursday, so I've got a new beer for you. Uh, this one is Temporal Illusion, Temporal Illusion, from There Does Not Exist out in San Luis Obispo, California. It's got very cool artwork, if you can see that, maybe, maybe not. It's very cool looking, though. Uh, 6.2% of high volume. It's a Saison, so... It should be pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but we'll find out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like it, tell me your stories. I like telling stories. It's super fun. So, let's get this guy started. All right, so, there does not exist. We had a really super cool vibe there. It's like a, like a coffee house but they serve beer instead of coffee. Um, lots of IPAs. This should be interesting. I mean, it's a little bit old. It's been a little bit since I came back. Um, I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not quite a month old yet. So it shouldn't be terrible that I know of. But Cezanne's are always interesting to me. Yeah, that farmhouse beer thing. Not generally a thing that I am appreciative of 100% of the time. They always sound like they should be really good to me. But also they they tend to be weird. Um, not, not a flavor that I'm a fan of. Very yeasty, if you will. Um... Saisons that this might remind me of. Um, what it should be like, I mean, it, generally they are clearer. I'm sure that this was much more clear before I put a little bit of uh, a little bit of yeast in there. I saw it come out when I was pouring that last little bit with the head on the top. Um, and lighter, which this is clearer and light. So that's a good way to start, I think. Uh, farmhouse sales also tend to be a little bit sour generally, or the more yeast forward than any, just about anything else, if they're a good one. And it's not my favorite kind of beer, but I like to try them because I should like them. They're beer. I should like them. So I guess let's give this a shot. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I like. Um, this is really good. It, it's what it's supposed to be. It's a little bit sour, um, super light on the tongue. It's not gonna punch you in the face with any alcohol, so that's nice. Um, the, the, the malt is super laid back, but there is a significant amount of sour in this beer, and I like that. This beer kind of reminds me of um, of an Oarsman. It's one from uh, from Bell's, if you've had that. Um, let's see, other sour beers that I've had recently that aren't. Uh, I think I had one from Right Brain that reminds me of this one. Um, but I don't remember the name of it. It's a kettle sour, that one. So, you know, they put stuff in it to make it taste like this. This one's just... I'm going to imagine this is just yeast and malt and hops, water, just, you know, regular things. But it's really good. I could drink a bunch of these. I'd probably have a super heavy hangover the next day, but would probably be worth it. This is good. You can sit around and talk all night drinking these. Um, yeah, so what does this remind me of? Okay, so the first time I had the Wild One from Bells, I went to Bells with a friend of mine that used to live down there. Um, Johnny B was a grad student at Western in Kalamazoo there, and um, we decided, hey, this seems like a good weekend to go to, to Bells. It, it was a very good weekend to go to Bell's. It was the 25th anniversary. So I got like a pin and whatnot, but the thing that they had on tap that 
what really looked interesting was a brown sour they called the wild one and that one was like this a little bit more sweet because dar the darker because of the darker malt it's really nice and you never see it anywhere outside of the eccentric cafe which is unfortunate because I really like that beer and I would like to have it other places. This is nice because they put it in a bottle and you can have it other places. I didn't get to drink that one here or there, but then there does not exist. So I don't know here, here does. So it's even better to have it here, I suppose. really good but yeah we were just planning to go to bells and they were they had there was a big band playing um like a polka band it was kind of neat because that my buddy and myself we were both two players in college and got to watch a band play and there was a tuba prominently featured because it's a polka band that was kind of neat um yeah what else does this remind me of um it also kind of reminds me of a cider I had once that another friend, tuba player, go figure, made. Um, he made it with uh, champagne yeast, put it in champagne bottles, and popped one of those guys open to give it a shot, see what it tasted like. That first time it reminded me of this. The next time it was super dry. Like, it didn't really taste like there was alcohol in it. He's like, this is that same one that we made before, but this one is, that it's sat and conditioned in the bottle, and it's it's better now. And it was. It was, I, I didn't get a hangover the next day. One, that was real nice. Two, it was tasty. Nothing special, just apples, and, and then that's about it. It tastes like apples with... That were bubbly. It was nice. Real good. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else fun going on? Work schedule's all messed up, so we'll see how that goes. Thursdays and Sundays and Fridays and... It's going to be a weird... A, Mondays and a Monday and a Tuesday, that's going to be super weird. I'll probably still do this on Thursday, but also I'll probably do it on Monday and Tuesday when I've got Monday and Tuesday off. I think I've also got Thursday off that week, so that'll be nice. It might be Friday, though. Either way, I'll do this Wednesday. I'll do this Thursday, not Wednesday. Because I like doing this. It's fun. Come down here and talk to people. Even though it's just talking to myself, really. <sighs> kind of wish I had another one of these. I could probably get my brother-in-law to send me one. But you can't send beer through the postal service. I mean, people do it a lot, but you're not supposed to send beer through the postal service. If you do send beer through the Postal Service, I have heard that the flat rate boxes are super are, are super easy to use. Just make sure that everything's packed really well and sealed up tight. And then stuff doesn't get everywhere and you don't have to pay extra. And it gets there in like three days, which is nice. I mean, because here, it's supposed to get there in two days, but I, I live here, so it gets here in three days. I live kind of in the middle of nowhere. If I lived where my brother-in-law lives, it would get here and it would get there in two days because that's the way things work for me, apparently. Whenever I buy Saison's, this is what I hope they taste like. 
and they very rarely do. I had one in, uh, actually that brewery doesn't exist in, anymore. Not there does not exist. It, it, it's actually not a thing. I got a cup and everything in Roke. Roke? Nope. Noroak. Noroak? Yeah, Noroak Brewery in, in Holly or something like that. Northern Oakland County. Um, it's not there anymore, but I got a Saison that they did, but it was like a, a honeydew Saison, and it tasted super yeasty and not conditioned enough, and I did not appreciate it like I should have. It was beer, and that was nice, but it's about the nicest thing I could say about it. They did have other ones that were really good, though, there. Um, their darker beers were much better. Um, I think they still had some Oktoberfest left. It was at the beginning of the summer when I went there last year, I think. And their Oktoberfest was really good. Maybe it was, yeah, it was probably near the beginning of the summer, maybe toward the end. There's Oktoberfest out now, though, so it could have been right around this time of year, last year. It's a good chance. Almost there. <sighs> it also seems weird to me that this was how beer used to taste when you think about it, because, you know, where do you get the, the yeast from? Like everywhere. So there were definitely beers that tasted like this. Malt, hops, water, yeast, and they came out tasting like this. I mean, I drink that stuff all the time. It's so good. Anyway, I've got a quote for you. This one is from Julia Child. She's a, uh, hey, well, I mean, like a talk show host, but like a cook too. She said, the measure of achievement is not winning awards. It's doing something that you appreciate. Something you believe is worthwhile. And I really like how that sounds. I kind of like doing this. I'm not going to get any awards for doing this. I like doing it. That's why I do it. I think people should know about beer. So I'm letting you know about the beer that I drink. Anyway, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 at Untap YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It makes it so that more people get to hear about what I'm talking about. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I had a friend tell me that I, he, had, he didn't know that I had gone to England, Scotland, and France when I was younger. Um, so I was like, yeah, for sure, I did. I was 19, and it feels like it was a lifetime ago because... I'm twice that age now, and it feels about the same. So anyway, I'll catch you next time, when you got time for a beer.